Geek Speakers, welcome to another episode of Respect Your Shelf. Today I'm going to be walking you through how I created this fire escape for one of my um, back alley dioramas. Um, all you'll need is some craft sticks, uh, a knife or scissors or something to cut the sticks with, some sort of mesh or whatever you'd want to use for the platform, some glue, I used hot glue, mainly some wood glue would also work, and some paint to finish it off. So the first thing you need to do is pick out what craft sticks you're going to want to use. Um, I used three different sizes. One was an inch for the big side panels on the floor. And then the main structure was all constructed out of these quarter inch by six inch sticks. And then these little, um, they're almost like the size of like a toothpick, they're just, but they're square, which I use for all the rungs and stuff on the ladders. Um, the only other thing you're really going to need is some sort of mesh or what you would want to use for the floor of your fire escape. you got to remember, some people even just use other sticks to go across, like another quarter inch stick to make a slat type fire escape. I used a mesh. So um, there's a gutter mesh and then there's this silver mesh. Both uh, gutter mesh you can find at Home Depot or Lowe's or something and then the silver you can find at a craft store. What I ended up using was this plastic gray mesh um, that people use for crafts, it's with the yarn, they make ornaments or stuff like that. Um, so how I began was you got to make sure that whatever design you make, the hole where you're going to put your ladder or your stairs is big enough for whatever action figures you're going to be using. So you got to be careful about what you do with your scale. Then I built a frame, just one frame with the quarter inch sticks and then I glued the mesh on top of it and then I made another frame of sticks on top of that and I used hot glue so it's quick and easy and that's how I made the main platform that the figure can stand on. Then I made the guardrails, I also used hot glue, just measured everything out and like every inch or so um, put a rung and the main structure was all made with the with the quarter inch stick thick the thick sticks then the ladders were constructed in quite the same way there was two layers of the quarter inch sticks with the little tiny toothpick ones sandwiched in between and again i used hot glue just because it's fast and quick i tend to uh it gets messy and I tend to make more mistakes when I use the wood glue, so I need something that dries faster. Um, and then I added the hand railing and the base part. Um, if there was anything I could change before I would have put this black wash on, it would have been to add some rivets around the, the one inch base to look like it was all drilled together. And maybe in some other places, I really like how the rivets add just a little bit more of a detail. For those, I use um, the half pearls, the little gems. So here I just put the, I always start everything with a dark black or dark brown, and then you start adding color. So some people might want to paint theirs like green or yellow, like a fire escape, like it was freshly painted. I wanted to make mine look rusty, so I used a lot of oranges and reds and stuff. And then after I did that, before I mounted it, I did go back and add some blacks and dark browns back in. So it ends up a little darker than what you're seeing right here, but it's, this shows the layers of color. And I also um, painted some sticks that are gonna be the braces up underneath it to hold it. Uh, it is not removable from the diorama. I glued it right directly to it because I was, I couldn't figure out exactly how to make it stay and you'd have to make holes. And it was just easier if I attached it fully. A lot of people don't like to do that. But then here you can see, then I glued it directly to the diorama and you can see what it looks like on the building. So this is just one of many designs that you could do. I hope this just gave you some inspiration to create your own fire escape for your next dio. Um, my next one I'm going to try to maybe do some stairs instead of the uh, ladders. Um, I just saw somebody do actually a retractable ladder that was really cool. I kind of wanted to test that out. Uh, just let your imagination run wild. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. I always like to close out one of my tutorials with showing you some toy photography from Pete using whatever 
item I created today. So here's some daredevil shots with the fire escape. And like always, I just want to thank you all for stopping in and checking us out. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we both have Instagrams. We have a Facebook page that follows the um, Dio stuff. And we also have an Etsy shop set up. Um, sometimes we put some of the stuff up for sale. Please subscribe to our channel. Click on the little heads below you. And always remember to respect yourself.